I have a question regarding a cellmate in prison. What kind of relationship can you expect with a cellmate and does that differ from the relationship you would have with other people? Well, your cellmate, because you spend so much time together in the cell, you want to make sure that you get along with that person, that you don't have any issues with that person's hygiene, that you follow certain things in the cell so you guys don't have conflict. Like, for example, um, you don't fart outwardly in the cell. You go sit on the toilet, and when you fart, you flush. You don't take a shit while your cellmate's in the cell. You try to time it to where you take it when he's not there. Or if you do have to take a shit, you basically give them a heads up so they can put a towel down so they don't have to look at you taking a shit, you know. Um, you don't masturbate with your cellie in the cell. You know, that could cause problems. He don't want to see you jacking your dick off in the cell. Um, you don't spit in the sink after you brush your teeth. You spit in the toilet. Uh, you don't blow your nose and throw it in the trash can. You throw it in the toilet. Um, you know, you make sure you wipe around the sink uh, after you wash your hands. Same thing with the toilet. You know, you take turns cleaning the cell. You don't, um, you know, you don't have the, you know, you, you got to time each other's uh, private time. You know, if you if you don't want to be laying in the bunk all day long and your cell has to come in and take a shit or you have to come in and get his stuff to shower and you're constantly sleeping, that's not cool. Um, as far as uh, just, you know, like I said, conversation, stuff like that. You want to be in there with somebody you can get along with. If you don't get along with this person, you want to make a note of it and ask the counselor to move you so that you can get along with somebody that you won't have problems with. Because the thing about having a bad celly is that it can go from bad to horrible because, uh, you know, things either leak out that maybe you don't like this guy and somebody else says it back to him and you guys have problems in there at night or um, it just, you know, it can become violent. So it's best to have a good communication with your celly and, you know, at least be on the same page as far as the way you program, you know, if you're eating together, whatever the case may be. Otherwise, it could just be a, a very bad experience, which prison on top of it is already a horrible experience. Um, for example, does loyalty to your cellmate, cellmate transcend racial loyalty in case of conflict, this is dealing with the same question. Um, loyalty to your cellmate is basically just based on how you guys associate. As far as uh, racial conflict, you know, it just depends on who you're rolling with. I mean, racial conflict has nothing to do with your celly, so you, those two are separate. And depending on how you carry your program on the yard, is going to determine how you carry your program. Period. So. All that pretty much goes out the window with whatever you have going on with your celly if you're associated with a certain group of people in the yard. Got another question from one of our viewers. If you go to prison and mind your business, but you are on the slim side, so you don't weigh very much, aren't buff, do you have to worry about getting raped or beat up? No. And I think I've addressed this before on another prison talk, that size is not shit in prison. You got these dudes running around super swole thinking that they're going to be punking people. And it only takes a few little dudes who are smart, who are violent, who have the willpower to take these dudes out. So, you know, being buff in prison, yeah, you know, people will look at that to a degree, respect that. But it's how you carry yourself with your program, how you talk to people, how you interact. If you're intellectual, you know, um, you know, just how your demeanor is, all that plays a bigger factor than your size. Size, yeah, you know, you work out, you're in shape, you know, it's good, you know, people kind of think twice about fucking with you, but like I said before, some of the most dangerous people are the little dudes. I've seen most of the shot callers for most of the cliques in prison, they're not the biggest, swollest dude in prison. If some guy, he's quiet, you know, maybe wears glasses, you know, tatted up, but you wouldn't see it because he's always covered up. And the dude is, you know, he's uh, very nonchalant. It's not the guy who's boastful, who's shooting dice all the time, who's gambling, who's out and about, who's loud. You know, that's not the guy you got to worry about. It's the guy that you don't ever hear nothing about is the guy who's the most dangerous. So, yeah, being slim in prison is not going to necessarily subject you to rape or getting beat up. So it's not something to worry about if you're little.